It's to have that awareness to never ultimately be asleep. Right? And to know that we are immortal beings. That's raising your consciousness to the highest level. It's a beautiful day. I'm down here in downtown Los Angeles. I'm headed over to Mean Street uh, for the Certified Health Nuts, How to Thrive in the Concrete Jungle. fresh water, so um, seven times purified and chilled, sediment filter, carbon filter, reverse osmosis, coconut carbon filter, activated oxygen, alkaline, so they're, they're hitting the whole gamut here. Pretty awesome stuff. Remember that we are made of water. Certified Health Nut Sticker. I was buying some buffalo organs, and I guess I stood out to him, so he approached me, started talking, and uh, I've been following his stuff, talking to him on a regular basis. I see him in Santa Monica all the time, but he is my superior. He is legit. He's a uh, 15 to 20 years more into this health thing than I am. So I, I really look up to him, and he's got a <laughs> lot of profound things to say. So enjoy this. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ronnie. Yeah. He, he deserves a, a good round of applause because anyone who's holding the bar that high for health in a world that we live in today, I think is very profound. And so, and so I met Ronnie at the farmer's market. He was buying organs, and uh, not too many people know the power of the organs. When we hunted and gathered, we used to eat the whole animal from nose to tail. And the organs uh, that you eat help to restore your organs. So when I see another human being buying organs, I thought that was uh, quite interesting. And so we've been friends ever since. And so these things, um, they're outside of the norm of what we're kind of taught about what's health and what's... Uh, even health and fitness. Fitness doesn't necessarily mean health, and health doesn't mean exactly mean fitness. And it's rare that you find a spiritual teacher that is either of the two. So everything I'm here to teach you guys about is really to teach you about the earth, right? I'm an environmentalist at heart, working in the Amazon, really flipped me on about what we're doing to the world. And so if we all just take care of our own little real estate, our own body temple, we just take care of this, the world will be a better place. Why? Because we purchase things that are good for us. And what's good for us is good for the earth. Meaning uh, proper farming practices, you know, sourcing water properly, um, you know, not utilizing your vehicle as much as you have to. You know, a lot of people have electric vehicles right now, and I, they've told me they don't want to go back to uh, gasoline ever. And so, and then we've got to change the energy system as well. I'll get into that a little bit later, but this is big picture stuff for me, guys. Uh, so take care of your body. Water's very important. I've covered, you know, I've covered the base level. Drink water because your brain needs it no matter what. And then get the cleanest you can source. And RO is probably one of the easiest systems to get installed into your apartment or your home here. The bottom line is, is you have to be able to filter out the big contaminants that affect you. Fluoride calcifies your pineal gland. Your pineal gland uh, releases DMT, and that's what you get in a lucid dream, um, a near-death experience. But this is, this is um, um, you know, very important for the pineal gland uh, and, and for our hormonal balance and to keep balance and to keep your, your inner eyesight, you know, the, the, the intuition, uh, your innate abilities to understand what's good uh, for you and your, uh, what potentially is bad for your long-term survival, right? We have these internal, internal elements inside of us, and so it's important that you keep your apparatus clean and running optimal. 
so that we can change this world because all you guys are super important. Trust me. You are what you eat is an axiom that's not going away anytime ever. So it's very important that you feed yourself natural foods. Uh, you know, our grandparents, you know, there's even splitting hairs on the internet about uh, organics. Is organic right for you? Is, you know, is it just more expensive, et cetera, et cetera. Your grand grandparents and great grandparents used to just call organic food food. <laughs> Instead of growing organically where the soil rebuilds itself, what this has done is the commercial farming has stripped the soil, right? It's made the soil effete, uh, less minerals, uh, less microbes, uh, creates less nutrition, etc. And so, but hey, these war profiteers were making all sorts of money during World War II. And if you know anything about war profiteering, you know, that's big money. And these entities, these corporate entities, these business entities want to continue going on. They're like, hey, well, they're naturally occurring. Let's just put them in the soil. And lo and behold, this is what you have as your fertilizer today. Roll it up to the Vietnam War. Agent Orange, um, napalm, these things were herbicides. They would burn the jungle down so they could fight the Viet Cong because they would do what we did in the American Revolution, right? You'd shoot and then you'd go and run behind some trees. It's great, you know, it's called guerrilla warfare. You know, you don't have as much munitions, but sure as hell, they, they were beating us and we didn't like it. So Monsanto, which is a chemical company that started in early 1900, is now masquerading as an agribusiness company. Eddie, which has glyphosate, which is a carcinogen, and it's, uh, they're saying it's killing off the bees and the flora right now. So this is all big picture stuff. So if you just eat organic food, farmer direct, you guys will be okay, right? So, and that's what it's all about. I'm still figuring it out, right? I'm riding that wave of consciousness, right? You know, and we're dealing, as I'm about to get into, I should probably keep going, because we're gonna get into the six factors of stress. And so you're constantly riding that wave. So don't let food be a big hiccup for you. Eat a lot of food. You know, you know what I think is the best diet for everyone? Just do a paleo vegan diet. How about that? Just mix it up a little. Okay? You'll be okay, all right? So just eat real food. Okay, so we're moving into you. There's no victims, right? Life, life is happening for us, uh, not to us, right? The universe is always conspiring in our favor. So just pay attention to this. Um, do the best you can. I live in a digital world too. Let's just be cognizant about airplane mode, about having microwaves in your pocket, about having it on your heart. You know, these are microwaves, electromagnetic frequencies and radiations. Having the blue light, all this uh, blue light going into you tricks your hormones to think it's, you know, the sun's up, you know? So at sundown, put on, Candles, turn the lights down, get off your devices if you can. And we're, we're looking for optimal, guys, right? I'm not telling you what to do. We're looking for optimal. So you can do candles or salt lamps. And so, um, and then get to bed as close to 10 uh, as you can. So the, uh, Physical rest, I do believe, is from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And the psychological rest is from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. So they're both important cycles in your circadian rhythms. You'll see uh, the graph that gets passed by. And so, so if people have hormonal issues, they can't lose weight. Because remember, an overweight body is a stressed out body. Uh, if you guys just stand up right now, Move a little energy here. This exercise is called the Zen Swing. I learned it from Paul Check, who's one of the biggest strength training coaches in the world. Uh, he's also probably the biggest rehab guy in the world. He brought those Swiss balls and core function to the forefront of sports fitness. So this is called the Zen Swing. And you just gently swing from side to side. This, you can go up on your toe right here. Keep your eyes at the horizon, and the stretch will go up into your cervical spine. Take this. 
So we just finished here. We're at Mean Street and uh, Top. So amazing. We're gonna get a little post interview with Troy here real quick. I have some of the oregano, man. That's pretty powerful. I did a big thing the first time. I was like, ah. Hemp and all. Oh, Don't take like oregano straight. oil. No, I'm just gonna put it in water. Is that? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. But it's got hemp oil. It's got. Uh, uh, this is from North American Herb and Spice. It is. Uh, it's uh, hemp CBD oil with no THC. I think it's from the male plants, and it's from North American Herb and Spice, who specializes in wild herbs, especially their. Uh, oregano oil great company definitely support it and uh, if you're looking for a CBD uh, they've got only the highest quality hempanol and then of course here's their super strength oregano and the hempanol has the oregano oil in it can you taste that oh I absolutely absolutely can taste the oregano it's actually choking me up just a little bit <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> and if you want a total body purge, you got to try this. This will flush your liver out in about six days. And I mean, look at how gnarly green that looks. That is, and believe me, I've tasted this. This, you know, next to ayahuasca, you know, this is this plays second fiddle, but it's definitely that pungent and that. Gnarly. Not that I've actually seen bile, but that reminds me of like bile. And it's oil. This is this is oil of oregano, thyme, basil. Ugh, I mean this will scrub dandelion, this will scrub your liver. Scrub your liver. Total body purge. So do you have any post uh, how to thrive in the concrete jungle notes or things that you might like pass on to our YouTube audience here on Conscious Awareness 9? <laughs> well ultimately uh, you guys need to come to my next lecture because I uh, distill and unload so much powerful information that I've scoured the planet for the last 26 years uh, in very succinct manner and I put it in practical terms uh, so people can walk away. They implement one to five percent of what I'm teaching and their life is going to change forever. And so we went over the eight pillars of health, the six factors of stress that destroy health, the uh, uh, five detoxification pathways that rebalance and restore health and uh, then we've got uh, uh, the key to immortality and so my question to you Eric is how was it for you what was your experience Wow it actually took uh, my knowledge all to the next level you know I've been doing a lot of research uh, over the last 10 15 years uh, on my own um, so a lot of the things that you're talking about were just reminders of a lot of things that I have already known um, and to help myself to reintegrate all of these things into my everyday life. You know, uh, one of the big ones that I continue to think about when it comes to the surface is the Wi-Fi and how we're bombarded on a daily basis with all of this electromagnetic frequencies, Wi-Fi frequencies, and how we can, how, how much that actually matters in our daily life. Turn around out in the park to get all the energy outside of your system, get all the dirty exactly. static electricity, you know, pull the stagnation out of the body, um, really flow, turn the energy field on, right. you know, glow, electrify, and get out there and turn everybody else on. And so I gotta, I gotta clean up with the rest of the guys, but guys, come to the next workshop uh, that I'm doing, or come to the retreat I'm doing in Costa Rica, January 3rd through the 7th with JP Sears and the Raw Bras, uh, and I'll be doing an Amazon uh, ayahuasca retreat in early 2017 as well. And so, and then just plug into Certified Health Nut. We got plenty of good juju for everyone. Come to the next one so uh, you can experience it for yourself and take your life to the next level. Love you guys, peace out.